Joshua is facing one of the most exciting and terrifying moments of his life. The legend that is Moses is gone and all eyes are now on him. He's given the task of leading a great nation into the land of promise, something that Moses never got to do. As he steps into his new position, armed with the authority of heaven, he's surrounded by an expectant people facing the prospect of a land of promise. So what happens next? Well, God speaks to Joshua. What does he say? Go forward. God tells Joshua, move on. Joshua is allowed to remember the past. He's even called to honor the past. But God is telling him, don't live in the past. All change, no change. God wants Joshua to understand that although the personnel has changed, the purpose remains the same. Three things God wants Gavin and us to know. Three times God says to Joshua, be strong and courageous. But how does one get courage? And what does it look like? He can't do it alone. Joshua realized if he was going to take the people into the promised land, he would need the help of outstanding leaders and committed people. What Joshua really needed was a loyalty shift. The king is dead, long live the king. Giving love and loyalty to Joshua wasn't dishonoring Moses. In fact, it was the greatest compliment that people could have paid to his leadership and his choice of successor. Going with the new man was the clearest signal that they loved the old man. The last 15 years have been pretty amazing, but the future, I think it's going to be even better. And how do I know? Because God's in the future and he's waiting for us and he says, go forward.